Hi, I want to take a moment and give you three tips for uterine health. Tip number one is transition into a totally flat shoe. And what I mean by that is that the heel and the ball of the foot are at the same altitude. And so if you raise up your heel, even a half inch or an inch, you're going to throw off pelvic alignment. And the uterus attaches to the inside of the pelvis. And if the pelvis is out of position, the uterus will be out of position. It'll change the pressure dynamics and how the pressure comes down on the uterine ligaments. It's going to interfere with lymphatic and blood flow, which leads to pelvic congestion, pain, and dysfunction. Step number two, take your uterus for a walk. Your uterus would love to go for a walk, and you and your uterus would benefit from doing so. When you walk, it increases circulation through the pelvis. Blood carries oxygen and nutrients to every cell of the body, and lymph carries away pathological debris. Lymph largely depends on muscle movement to milk it through the system. And so if you sit the bulk of the day, then you're not feeding your cells and they're bathing in garbage. So imagine I'm a uterus sitting in a congested pelvis. And so you sit on your way to work and you sit all day at work and you go home and you sit to relax and then you go out with friends and you sit, 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 and then you do it all over again. So I'm your uterus, I can't breathe. You're not feeding me. You're not exercising me. Take me for a walk, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. So you wouldn't do that to your dog. You won't leave your dog in a cramped cage all day and not feed it or exercise it. So why would you do that to your sweet little uterus? Step number three, smile down to your uterus. Your uterus and your ovaries are working hard for you. But oftentimes when we have pain or dysfunction, we feel betrayed by our bodies. When in fact your body's working hard to maintain homeostasis or that balance within. Your body's performing something like seven trillion biochemical reactions every second of the day. Whoa, that's pretty incredible when you think about it. So take a moment every day to be present with what's going on in your body. Your body knows better than anyone what it needs. Sometimes we just have to take a moment and turn inward and listen with an open and compassionate heart.